Hello everyone, this is Deepak Bari and uh, welcome to this video. In this video we are going to talk about the state of interfaces in Cisco routers and switches. So we will use the Cisco Packet Tracer for the simulation. So let's open the Cisco Packet Tracer. Now let's take two routers and let's connect with them. So in my case I'm using the 2911 series router. So you can choose any one of them. And this is our two routers and we will connect with this VL cable. Just open this router and switch off this power. And select this HWIC 2T interface port and let's restart this router again and same thing on the second router okay now let's connect with this cable remember we are using this real interface and uh, the port and slot number is the 0 slash 1 Now we have successfully connected our routers by using the serial cable and uh, we are going to discuss about the state of the cable and the link which is connected with the router. So basically we are discussing about some things here. So first we will talk about the administrative down this state and the down state and the up state. So first is the administrative down. So that means whenever you are forcing your interface to state to down by using or giving the command like shutdown command then it will be defined as the administrative down. And suppose if this router is state is up and this router has been downed and if administratively then this will show as administrative down and this will show as an just the down. So let's check this one. Just go to the CLI tab and give the command here. No. the command enable and show IP interface brief by this command we can see the state of the port so the serial cable which is attached here with a serial interface which is slash 0 slash 0 so this is our the serial port and it is unassigned as an IP and the state of this port is administratively down. So give the IP address to this port and uh, let's change the state of this interface. To do that we have to go into the configure terminal mode that is a global configuration mode and select the interface by using this command interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 and give this IP address here in my case I am using this IP address and finally give this no shutdown command to have now the interface state is up now let's see what it's showing here just give this end command here and it will go to the end privilege access mode let's see show IP interface brief as we can see we have assigned the IP address here and still the port state is still the down Now let's make a changes here. 
enable configure terminal and here the serial number is 0 slash 1 so select this serial port here interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 1 and give the IP address here 10.0.0.2 and default subnet mask of slash 30 CIDR is 252 and give the no shutdown command here to making the port state 12 now the port is active and let's see the another port state here show IP interface brief now in this time the state is up for this port and if we check about this port here also so let's do this here and show IP interface brief and this is our port as we can see the serial 0 slash 0 slash 1 has assigned with IP address 10.0.0.2 and the status is up now what about if we administratively down here this port so and as we can see in visually in our Cisco packet whistle like this green icon so the link is up so that means the our device whether the router or the switch has been connected and uh, still sensing a frequency or the signal from the other end and suppose if you down this router from here like the power shut down or administratively down so it will affect to the another route also so let's do it and try again and let's see what's the result will come here so just go to the configure terminal again and select the serial interface by using the interface command interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 1 and we are forcing here to make it a shutdown state just give the shutdown now the port state is changed to the shutdown and uh, the icon goes the red here and let's see the again show IP interface brief Now at this time it's showing the same like 00 slash 0 slash 0 has the IP address but the status of this port is down because it's not sensing any kind of signal from the other end. So that means this is not administratively down it's just down because it's not sensing from other end or any kind of frequency from the other end device. So let's make it up again and uh, if we look into this router show IP interface brief and we forced here to make it shut down so that's why it's showing here administratively shut down this one and about this one the VLAN 1 so VLAN, yes VLAN 1 is also a port and uh, it's a virtual port we can say and uh, we will talk about these things in the upcoming videos whenever I will explain about the VLAN in details so for now we have covered about the administratively down which is by default it already down instead and then down whenever the leak device is down and not sensing any kind of signal from the other device and upstate that means everything's working fine now let's make it up again
configure terminal interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 1 and then no shutdown now the state is up now let's make a ping test here give the ping and 10.0.0.2 and we are getting deploy from the another device let's check with the another device and ping to the virtual zero which is 10.0.0.1 So I accidentally hit down the enter key and uh, it's showing the translating something the IP address which is not into this network so that's why it's trying to translating so we have to wait for this like it's showing the unrecognized host etc so just keep the ping and 10.0.0.1 and we go and we are getting this reply from the router zero so this was all about for this video hope you understand the status of the port in router and the switches as well so thanks for watching this video guys and guys see you on the next video